to wait a minute it's advent on this the first wednesday of advent ruth mcgiven from gateshead past ymt team member and talented writer and editor of an online blog shares with us her reflection for today let us pause and pray in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen lord as we take part in the advent journey May we experience you, walking alongside us as we go to a new place in our hearts, where we experience afresh your merciful love. As we journey to the stable, may we have the courage, strength and determination to walk with others, so together we come to know you more fully and in a new way this Advent. Loving Lord, journey with us today, tomorrow and always. Amen. Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. Now, I don't know about you, but by far my favourite thing about Christmas is the Christmas dinner. In fact, it's during this time we're encouraged to celebrate and to enjoy and indulge with our food. But I think it's incredibly important to acknowledge all of those that will go hungry on Christmas Day and throughout the season of Advent. You might have seen there's been a recent call for food bank donations or Footballer Marcus Rashford's campaign where he hopes to see no child go hungry over the holidays. In today's Gospel, we're reminded by Matthew of Jesus performing a miracle where he fed a very hungry crowd with very little. Jesus says, I have compassion for the crowd and I do not want to send them away hungry. But with kindness being stretched beyond possibility, it can seem confusing or overwhelming with what we're actually being called to do. But a brilliant quote by Arthur Ashe says, start where you are, use what you have and do what you can. This might mean donating food if you're able, sharing useful information on your socials or remembering those in your prayers in a quiet reflection. But in this week of hope, I hope that you know that whatever you can do is more than enough. You hold all the tools to make a positive difference. And I hope you have a very Merry Christmas.